This example is very similar to the last one, but the result ends up being very different. In this case, an ancient Persian vase is thrown upward at 12.5 meters per second. So it's going upward. And just like before, it's going to go up, eventually stop, and come back down. And we're given some information. We know the initial speed is 12.5 meters per second. We'll call up positive. When we say this, the initial speed is 12.5 meters per second, we've already decided that up is positive. If down were positive, that would have to be negative because the initial speed is upward. Now we know that gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. We know the initial height is zero and we want to know at what time is it 14 meters above the starting point. So the final height is 14 meters and the time is what we don't know. That's what we're looking for. So the setup is very similar to the previous problem. We can use y equals y0 plus v0 t plus one half a t squared. And let's put in the numbers. The final height here, y is 14 meters equals the initial height is zero, so I'll just leave that out. We have v0 times t. v0 is 12.5 meters per second times t plus one half a t squared. That's one half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared times t squared. Once again, we're trying to find t. Everything in here is known. We have numbers in here for everything, except we don't know t. And t shows up twice. So we can use the quadratic equation once again. In this case, in our quadratic equation, well, let's rearrange the terms here. I'll take this term and move it over to the left. And when I do that, I have to change the sign. So that negative sign will go away. So I end up with 1 half times 9.8 t squared. And then I'm going to move this term, that term includes the t, move that term over to the left. And it will become negative. So I have minus 12.5 t. I'll keep the 14 meters on the left, so it's plus 14, and then I'm left with just zero on the right. So what do I put into the quadratic formula? A is equal to 4.9, that's A, the coefficient of my t squared term. B is equal to negative 12.5, and C is equal to 14. So we'll put those numbers through the quadratic formula. And here's what we get. t is equal to, once again, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now watch what happens. Negative b is 12.5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 12.5 squared, minus 4ac. That's 4 times 4.9 times c in this case was 14. And all this is divided by 2a. a was 4.9, so 2a is 9.8. Now here's what you need to take note of. 12.5 squared, I can compute that in 4 times 4.9 times 14. This quantity, 4 times 4.9 times 14, ends up being bigger than 12.5 12 squared. We end up with a negative number under our radical here. This works out to 12.5 plus or minus the square root of negative 118.15 over, over 9.8. And I'm, I've got a mistake there. That should be 9.8. Okay, you see the problem. A negative number under our square root. We don't generally take the negative take the square root of negative numbers. That results in complex numbers which we don't deal with right here. This problem has no solution. We can't solve this. There's no real number answer to this problem. What this means physically is this. This vase was thrown upward. Okay, and here it is. And it's sailing into the air. It was given some initial speed. And it goes up and comes back down. We were asked to find the time 
that it's 14 meters above the ground. And what we see here from our answer is that there is no time that it's 14 meters above the ground. It doesn't make it up that high. 14 meters is above the peak of this object's flight. So there's no answer, there's no real number answer, and no solution to our equation in this case, because at the given speed we were given of 12.5 meters per second, it doesn't reach a height of 14 meters. And so that's what you would say for your answer. You would either say no solution, or you could just write it doesn't reach a height of 14 meters.